Extracted Out of Here from Octagon on Gaming, and we got the uh, 13th episode of our uh, Cleveland Browns franchise. Now, the last episode, we couldn't quite clutch it out against the Dallas Cowboys, so without further ado, let's get straight into Week 10 for some Sunday Night Football against the Baltimore Ravens. We are here in Baltimore for some Sunday Night Football as the divisional rivals for Thor, Baltimore Ravens host the 1-8 Cleveland Grand. This is the only Thursday, Sunday, or Monday Night Football game for the Browns this season. They already took on the Ravens earlier this year in their home opener and lost. So hopefully this time they can bounce back in Baltimore. And prove to two and eight. What further do? Let's get straight into the opening possession. Or whatever. First position gets interesting, I guess. Number 25 for the Brown. David Johnson is the back of the backfield. It's a handoff to Johnson. Johnson starts off with the first down on the way to the 42. 42 after the 17 yard run by David Johnson. Prescott looking for Corey Coleman, but it's intercepted. The first pass of the game is picked off by Ladarius Webb, a veteran cornerback, still getting it done. Just so everyone knows, Justin Forsett, Jamal Roll, Will Hill, and Joe Flacco are all not playing today. Number 43 after the offsides penalty by Emmanuel Ogbo. Now it's just sick, or how do you say his name? An out in the backfield! And I believe that now that is Jordan Poyer stopping Javarius Allen. Second and three over 27 for the Cleveland Browns here. Watt, David Johnson on the back to the backfield. Prescott looking for TJ Sharp in his third NFL game. And he's injured! TJ Sharp got hit hard! By the linebacker, Arthur Brown, and he is down! TJ Sharp, a rookie from UMass, in his third career game, as I said. He's done very good in his first two. We'll find out his injury shortly. Or he should be. TJ Sharp has broken his hip. No! And he will not be returning today. One of the 25 for Baltimore. Mallet. Back to Javorius Allen, first down, and he goes all the way to the 15. Eight of the 13 for the Ravens. Another one play to Allen. Allen gets by him off the few defenders and gets in the end zone. Touchdown, Javorius Allen, and it's now 7-0 Ravens. Ravens. Pretty much been all running for the Ravens, and that continues. There goes Javorius Allen all the way to the 13. The score, Ravens 7 Browns, nothing. Ryan Mallet. Find that Quinto that was, I believe, that is Steve Smith. No, that's Mike Wallace. That's his first touchdown of the year. And it's now 14 and nothing, Ravens. 5 over 29. It's time for the Browns to not be big babies anymore. It's time to play NFL football. And David Johnson! Breaking the tackle, that's called NFL football. Five over 45, it's time for the Browns to make a big play. Over to Corey Coleman, first down, he dropped it! Corey, no! Well, that's a two-yard loss by David Johnson. And now Prescott is the only fella in the backfield, and he gets sacked! And he's injured! Dad Prescott is injured. I believe that CJ Mosley, if I'm not mistaken, he's grabbing his wrist, his left wrist, and it means none other than RG3 will come into the game. Dad has his strained bicep, and he will be able to continue this game. 20. Everyone's been playing like second graders today. 
absolutely awful football from the Browns. I am very, very disappointed. Looking for Rashard Higgins, and he's not a second grader. He's a grown man. Ten of a thirty-five. The Browns and the Ravens have all three timeouts. It's a screen for David Johnson. Johnson first down, 20, all the way to the 15. Ten of the 15, about a minute left. In the first half, it's four Ravens, 14, Brown Zippo. Looking for Corey Coleman, intercepted by C.J. Mosley. Second grader. Four half time, four Ravens, 14, Brown Zero. This has been a battle of second graders versus scaredy cats. The Ravens have not passed the ball a lot. And they're scared. And the Browns, they are really, truly playing like second grade. Look at that passing mark for the Ravens. Six. Second and eight over 27 for the Ravens. Now it. And that one is caught by Jabori. Now I don't know how he caught that. And that's the first one. Oh, that should have been picked by Carl Nassim. 46. The Ravens actually passed it on first down. What a shocker! I mean, Javoris Allen's doing good today, so I'm not saying that they're doing a bad thing by running it. They just need to be passing it. And see what I mean? He's over 100 yards now. It's in 10 of the 37, or the 17, I'm sorry. And there goes Terry to us. I believe it's first carry tonight. And that's a touchdown. And it's now a three possession game. As the scaredy cat, I mean the Ravens, I'm sorry. Make it 21 nothing he gets the second. Person. I mean the Browns. He's 10 on the 22. For the Browns. Now 21 to nothing. As the Browns offense has really been the second. Person. The defense has been there. Uh, the defense has been maybe eighth graders. That's that absolutely nothing was the game of the year. And lately he's been really good. This is his first really bad game. I mean, seven carry for 19 yards. It's a handoff to Keith Marshall. And Marshall gets a first down. His first first down of his career, I'm assuming. Okay, this is a big play for Cleveland. His first down is pretty much vital at this point in the game. And Prescott gets him just before he throws it. But Elvis Doomerville! 10 of the 11 for the Ravens. No more scaredy cat. No more baby. That's what everyone's in the stadium probably is thinking. As there's Javorius Allen. No one is near him. There goes Allen. Derek Kendrick. He can't get down to Joe Hayden. Meets up with him all the way at the 28. 10. On the 28, back to Alex Barbu! That's what you get for being scared of cats after your 60 yard play? You fumble it! Great, this is a big play. Prescott, looking for four errors, pretty much wide open, first down, Brown! 10 of the 44. Prescott and Johnson are on the backfield. Pressure coming in again, it's brought down! By CJ Mosley. 9 over 45. I know exactly what I'm doing. Prescott. Oh no, I don't. Oh no, no, no. Intercepted. I plan on going for a short Higgins. It always tricks me when the corner loose is that open. Gee. Second and 5 over 33. Back to Allen. Allen first down and more all the way to the 48. Eight. On the 50, this is a huge play. Six minutes left in the game. Ravens up by three touchdowns. Brian Benjamin Watson for the first. Watch it go to the four. Thank goodness for not getting the touchdown because he's got third off the one. Justin Tucker is a very good kicker, so this game is 24 to nothing. Most likely, and yet, 24 to nothing. Hessler is in the game. I want to see what he is made of. That Prescott has really struggled today. Over to Ricardo Lewis. That's his first career pass, but it loses three. And this game is over. Your score ground zero. Ravens 24. I believe this is the first time this season because the Browns have been shut out. Just an awful offensive performance. Jack Prescott really struggling. And we might get more G3 and Cody Kessler some more time 
through the rest of the season. We're not gonna, I don't know if we're going to play Dak like every snap because I want to get both of them time as well. And I want to see if we don't draft the quarterback for them, I think we are. Who would be the starter? If we draft the quarterback, we might not start in week one. So who would be the starter? Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Cougar Brown Team Guys. If you did, smash that like button. Next episode coming out soon. Peace.